has ever gotten lost more than once on the way home? Like physically on the set or in the set? <laughs> <laughs> Me, all the time physically um, on set. That yes. was good. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out how to get around that set. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. I do. I do. Okay, I'm in. so relieved. So uh, I think I think from what you're saying, because we took it literally. Um, yeah. Uh, we have really wonderful like continuity keepers mm. uh, for this show. Thank God, because I don't know what I'm doing half the time. Uh, I'm just like, just tell me where to stand, what time frame I'm in, and where I'm going right now, and <laughs> that's it. So, but we do have to really keep track of stuff because. The, the attention to detail is so important um, and, and it really carries through for, for all of our characters, for sure. And we really lean on each other for the time travel details in a way that I think you see on screen quite clearly in the script, but off screen too, you know? So like asking each other like, so do you know this detail now? Have have I, like, just holding all of those time travel things is not something you can do alone, both in the story. I think we realize between the relationships, especially um, Alice and Kat with Elliot, but mm. off screen, it's not possible to hold all those details either. So we we hold each other up in that sense and, and it helps us not get lost, although we do get lost in the actual physical set. And especially yeah. in, tele <laughs> in television, we're shooting out of order. Yeah. And so a lot of it is like, and have, I, episodes at once. have I learned this, this information yet? Or yeah. has this happened yet or not? And because if you get it wrong, it's time travel. So the whole thing can kind of yeah. crumple and that's the show. So we have to be very very specific. And we also know the audiences, since they love the show so much, they are rabid. And so they're watching every little detail. And so they're picking out Easter eggs we didn't even know were Easter eggs. <laughs> Each of you, what is something that you think people can take away from this show? That nobody's perfect. <laughs> no family is perfect. Um, whether it's, you know, biological or chosen, it's just that is what it is. There's always going to be dynamics that need to be worked on. There's going to be uh, healing that needs to happen, but there's also going to be successes. There's going to be, you know, things that we can celebrate for ourselves, but also with one another. And and hopefully that people can understand and watch on a channel like Hallmark, that it's like, I see myself in those characters. And, you know, it, it's okay for me to feel that way because I get to watch this, you know, uh, progression of these characters and see how they handle the situations or, or whatever's thrown at them. People just have identified with that. And it's such a, what a wonderful compliment. Mm. I foresee season four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And what do you think could be a good twist to add to the plot? Your lips to God's ears. Let's say that first. <laughs> I think time travel offers such a um, a can of worms. I know that kind of has a negative connotation, but in this sense, it's like you have so many avenues that you could. Are you laughing at me? No, no, no. You can't fish. Exactly. We're yeah. As long as you like fish. No, and I just think that there's there's so many possibilities. You just we keep learning new rules about the pond, and the, and we keep popping up in different moments in in our family history and so i think there's no there's no um there's no limit to where that could take us and and there's even things that you know we got to episode 10 this this season shooting episode 10 and the pennies were just dropping for me about easter eggs mm -hmm. for future you know avenues to go down yeah, and and i i couldn't crazy. believe that as someone who's so invested in the plot and in the details that that I hadn't even noticed those things. And so I'm excited for the audience to, to make their predictions again in the same way they did last season because we get quite a thrill out of reading them. So mm. I'm looking forward to that.